I can't with you. Hey, everybody. It's Poppy here with All Country News. We are hanging out with my favorite Scott. It's Jordan Harvey. <laughs> the Proclaimers. Yeah, it's the Proclaimers. <laughs> Mother one couldn't make it. Sorry. Okay. Um, pick a question. Okay. He's taking charge here. This is his interview now. Wait. You can ask me. You can answer them. Wait, put <laughs> Whatever you the, want wait, to do. Put me on the spot. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's Father Christmas. Um, what is your go-to karaoke song? It is Absolutely All Night Long by Lionel Richie. There was another question on the other side of that. All night long, all, all night. night. If you could be transformed into one animal, which one would you choose? A horse. <laughs> and, and why a no horse? Reason. No reason. I just like horses. I just love <laughs> horses. I love it. Okay, so Inquiring Minds want to know your get up, the inspiration behind yes. all of the uh, the well, attire here today. Absolutely. So um, I would like to put this question. My mom reuses bags like you guys reuse questions. We so do. I'm going to put that back in there. I love it. Um, Merry Christmas, Steve. And <laughs> <laughs> basically, so my outfit, um, no, I, I worked. Uh, you want to hold yeah, it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it, it's my mojo here. Um, basically, I designed this jacket with my stylist katie robbins love it who's a very wonderful human being and basically the um the design behind this jacket is this is kilt tartan from mcnaughton's um kilt store in scotland it's the oldest kilt store to ever exist on the oh planet this is the stuart tartan i have black watch tartan on the back i have a scottish flag and an american flag and then i have the people for peace patch on my arm love because it. i just believe everyone should love everyone um, and that's actually that. me being serious and then basically Canadians stole the Canadian tuxedo from Scotland and then ripped it off as their own. So to be honest, I'm just bringing it back and saying, just like the game of golf, we invented the double denim. Okay, I love it. I love it. Let's talk about your music. We are loving the new single. Yeah. Why did you want to kind of kick off that year with this one? Um, just because I feel like it reflects really well on my personality and where I am at this stage of my life. Because I, rem I basically had, had the record like kind of tied up and right. I hadn't finished that song yet. That song didn't actually even exist. And... I just felt like I was missing that that real driving song on the EP. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. Available everywhere now. Please go stream, download, purchase. And um, I was coming back up from Alabama with my now fiance, and the song came on the radio. I think it was a Beyonce song, if my mind serves me correctly. She grabs the dial, cranks it up, and just starts yelling at the top of her voice, thinking that she sounds like Celine Dion. Uh, yeah. Sounded like a cat getting strangled at my yeah, back door. Yeah, sounds like me. Yep, it wasn't great. Um, but I just remember looking at her in awe and being like, I love you, and I might have my hands on the wheel, but I'm just the one for the ride. I love so it. I called my two buddies, James McNair and Jason Massey in Nashville, and I said, I have this idea for the song. And actually, going back, this is no lie, I'm glad you brought this up. Yeah. My karaoke song, All Night Long, I was listening to it in the car, and you remember that song, all night long, all night, yeah, dun, 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 and along for the ride, bam, bam, bam. It's got the hits, so I, I kind of stole it. the hits from Lionel, if you're watching this, big up and yep, big love. Yep, Lionel's a big all-country news fan. Yep. Huge, huge. Um, and um, so that's kind of how the song came together, and I knew as soon as I got it back and as soon as I heard the demo, actually, yeah. which Jason sent me not long after that, I remember driving, actually, back to my apartment, and I was, like, shaking the wheel. I was like, I've got it, I've got the one. And... Um, I just knew that I wanted to come out the gate with that single. Just energy, right. like me, you know, as you can tell, very energetic individual. And I just wanted to come out with the song that best re represented me, and especially with being springtime going into summer when I released yeah. it. I was like, it's the perfect summer song. I love it. Talk to me about being out on the road, playing yes. out those songs. I know you're coming to us in Chicago here next week. Coming to the Windy City. And um, I actually spent some time in Chicago last year, so actually genuinely Chicago is one of my favorite cities in America. Love that. And um, I, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been crazy being out on the road and seeing people sing back my songs to yeah. me. Um, and I think that I can, well, not think, I can see that the music is really connecting with people. And at the end of the day, that's why I write music. That's I why I perform that. music. I want to entertain people. I want to make music that people feel. Either makes them happy, sad, or whatever. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's awesome that it's connecting people. I love it. What else are you excited for this year? Um, hopefully my mum to get me a new bag for Christmas and yep. not have to have my reused uh, father's one. Yep. Um, <laughs> but genuinely going home. I, I, I love that at the end of every year. We've got a yeah. long year ahead of us in terms of like shows and all that sort of stuff and that is top of my priority list. But it's such a nice feeling knowing at the end of the year after such a great year yeah. I'll get to go home and see mom and dad. So that'll be the highlight of my year as much as it will be doing all my music stuff. I so love it. I family love it. first everyone. I love it. Well Jordan, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Love the get up. I appreciate it. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.